here in this uh, this uh, thermal neutrons to slow down this uh, thermal neutrons moderators are used and uh, the moderators such as deuterium oxide that is a uh, heavy water and uh, next uh, water water and heavy water are used as moderators to slow down the neutrons and uh, these control rods controls the number of neutrons generated in the reaction here the multiplication factor is reducing by this uh, control rods by the cadmium and boron rods now uh, again uh, in this we are using the fuel fuel as enriched uranium and uh, uranium these we will use as the fuel for this uh, nuclear reactors this is the fuel and uh, here we are using the coolant here we are using the coolant here by this uh, most uh, most amount of the energy is released and uh, this energy is cooled down by using the coolants here the coolants are molten sodium and uh, water are used as the coolant and uh, uh, by using this coolant the water is heated the water is heated and uh, in this steam exchanger or this uh, steam generator it uh, produces the steam it gives the steam and when this steam is passed on to the turbines to rotate we can produce the electricity also this is the uh, nuclear reactor and uh, this nuclear reactor is also having the shield here it is having the shield to reduce the radiations emitted or uh, to reduce the radiations emitted by this nuclear reactor and uh, these radiations are very hazardous for the people who are working near this uh, nuclear reactor this affects more that's why to reduce that uh, radiations here uh, this uh, total nuclear reactor is uh, covered with the steel or uh, concrete to reduce the effect by this uh, nuclear radiations here uh, this is the nuclear reactor and uh, this nuclear reactor works on the principle of controlled chain reaction controlled chain reaction in this uh, mainly fuel moderators control rods coolant and uh, shielding are used here in this uh, moderators these moderators slow down slows down the neutrons here uh, this thermal neutrons it slows down then uh, these thermal neutrons are participating in the uh, this uh, nuclear reaction and uh, control rods this uh, control rods controls the number of neutrons releasing in the reaction and the fuel is uh, enriched uranium or uranium uh, we will use for the fuel for this uh, uh, nuclear reactor in this core in the core the fuel is uh, placed in the core element and the coolant this coolant are the molten sodium and water as used as the Co uh, coolant and uh, this coolant uh, reduces the energy and uh, shield this uh, total nuclear reactor is shielded by the steel or concrete because this emits the more uh, very hazardous radiations uh, this affects the people parking around this now fusion process fusion process here fusion process means uh, this uh, this uh, fusion process in this fusion process the smaller nuclei the smaller nuclei are combining to give the bigger nuclei and also releases the energy the smaller nuclei combining to give the uh, the smaller nuclei combining to give the larger nuclei and also more amount of energy is released this is called a uh, fusion reactions generally these fusion reactions are takes place in the stars or also in the sun and uh, here the proton proton interaction based on this uh, proton proton interaction this uh, fusion process is uh, taking place 
and uh, this fusion process takes place at the more amount of that means uh, at a larger temperatures in the range of 10 power 8 kelvin in the range of 10 power 8 kelvin the fusion reactions can take place for example this uh, proton proton is combining to h12 and uh, this again h12 and uh, h11 will give helium this uh, 2 3 and this uh, helium 2 3 plus this helium 2 3 will give the helium 2 4 and uh, uh, this uh, helium 2 4 and uh, some amount of energy is released and uh, this helium 2 4 plus 2 electrons this 2 electrons will give the helium 2 4 plus uh, again 1 2 protons and uh, energy will get 26.7 mega electron volts here uh, these are the fusion reactions here this proton proton is combining to get h12 and again here also will get some energy h12 plus h11 again gives the helium 23 and the helium 23 plus helium 23 will give helium 24 plus some energy here these three reactions taking place again here to get this helium 23 these two reactions take place again that means these reactions combining to give helium 24 here four protons this is a 4 h11 are combining to give helium 24 nuclei this is a smaller nuclei combining to give a bigger nuclei plus more amount of energy 26.7 mega electron volts if we compare this uh, fusion and uh, fission reactions the binding energy per nucleon is more in this uh, fusion process uh, in this fusion process more amount of energy is released